All right, come on in. Hit the like button. I think you'll subscribe me if ready. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. But most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 thriller period piece film called Covenant. Cov Convert. I can convert someone to Rosalind or something like that. Um, but here's the plot. A preacher's violent past is drawn into question and his faith tested as he becomes caught up in a bloody war between Maori tribes after arriving at a British settlement in the, in the 1830s. Now here is some of the cast. I will say, despite this being a slow-burning story with not much of a thrill to it, it is, in fact, a very beautiful look into the cultures of the Maori tribes. The on-location shooting and camera shots was also very beautiful to look at at the whole time. Uh, Guy Pierce's acting and character was fantastic to watch. Shows that despite the sad reality of how humans can be terrible, there are still good people in the world no matter what time period granted there was way more bad people then but you know it is what it is the actor that played the warlord chief right away demanded his presence on the screen in the first scene very intimidating he and so many real more people was casted in this as far as i'm aware uh is and that's in pretty big roles um even some sides, but for definitely a good amount for big roles, and I'm really, I really appreciate that. I will say the performance by the main Mari actress definitely was great as well. Don't know her name, and I'll probably butcher if I if I uh, you know say it. So you know me. <laughs> but one scene with Guy Pierce's performance definitely blew me away. Now, other than that, I thought the story felt sluggish half the time, and the film felt. Just a tad too long. I got bored here and there. Now here is my writing and I'll come back with my final thoughts. From an entertainment point of view, I thought it was just okay. But from a culture art piece, it was very, very fascinating, very fantastic, very beautiful to look at. But overall, it's a one-at-a-time watch for me personally. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but maybe I think, now I think of it, now I said it out loud. I think I would recommend it, but I wouldn't go in with saying that it's going to be anything other than a pretty piece to look at with some history, probably... Uh, you know, altered a little bit or somewhat with the Hollywood. But this is a New Zealand um, production company that did behind this. And then this was shot in New Zealand, I believe. It could have been shot anywhere else. But I, it looked really like it was New Zealand from what pictures I've seen online and stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me. New Zealand uh is definitely like the lord of rings and stuff they shot there and it's like a big place they shot many other things uh there that are pretty big on scene and it, it, it is it is it's it's definitely that very beautiful looking shots even when they had long the most of the film was in um uh, uh, long shots i guess you could put it white shots white shots but anyways leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think um, so that's all I have for you today. Remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.